Four years after their defeat in Super Bowl I, the Chiefs made it back to the big game. A lot had changed in that time. The game was becoming more popular, and the spectacle of it all was growing every year. But even in the midst of the marching bands, hot air balloons, and battle reenactments that took place that day, the most entertaining performance, as always, came from the Chiefs' sideline. It's all out there in that field for us. In the next 60 minutes, we're going to get it all. World champions in professional football. All right. Oh, got to play. Hank Stram was the very first person, player or coach, who was ever wired in a Super Bowl. Let's go, boys. Hey, let's go, man. NFL Films, at this point, was shooting all the games for both leagues as part of the merger agreement. And we had actually wired Hank Stram in a regular season game at Municipal. It was the Chiefs versus the Boston Patriots. What are you doing in the huddle, Leonard? My God, what are you doing in that huddle all that, all that time? He better tuck that ball away. Put that ball away. Out. He's out. One foot was out. We're just missing it that much every time. Every single time. We're that close. Look at this cleat mark right here. Look at the cleat mark right there. One foot was out and the other one was off. Well, geez, tell them to shut their big mouth and call them. And it was one of the most hilarious uh, and entertaining wires we'd ever had. What's that there, Rich? Hey, what's that there? Yeah. The <laughs> yes, sir. I think that Ed Sable and Steve Sable, who had asked Hank to wear the wire, they thought that they had a potential gold mine there, and this just confirmed it. Nice going there, Billy. Mr. Official, let me ask you something. Okay, coach, go ahead. How can six of you miss a play like that, huh? Hank seemed somewhat more animated. Uh, doing the game. I wondered why he was being so joyous and chattering all of the time down there. I thought you'd been on the field. No. What? Yeah, the sulky was running around there like it was a He's engaging in that constant staccato banter hey, Lenny. Lenny. through the whole game. It looks like he's like a football coach from Hollywood Central Casting who's just reading off lines that he's memorized from a screenwriter. Hey, move it up a little bit. Pop it out of that end zone, yeah. That's an excellent call. Those officials are doing a hell of a job. Just keep matriculating the ball down the field, boys. As their outspoken head coach patrolled the sidelines of the 69 Super Bowl, the Chiefs play on the field began to make even more noise. They can't cover that in a million years. They often seemingly moved at will throughout the first half, and the Chiefs quickly jumped out to a nine to nothing lead. If we put things together, we'll kill these guys. Look for 65 toss power trap. What does it look like? Hey, look for Tell them 65 toss power yeah. trap. That might pop wide open, rats. They just felt that this is gonna be a pushover. They forgot to tell us. Running play coming to Garrett on a trap. Touchdown! Garrett scores in the five. Was that there, rats? Nice going, baby. With 5.34 remaining here before the half, Garrett took it in. A 16 to nothing lead with the defense that we had against the Minnesota Vikings offense, there was no doubt in our mind. Dawson post sideline pattern, Taylor, Taylor Hall, 20, 25. Oh! That's it, boys. That's it, Rats. That's it, boys. <laughs> and here he was in his moment in the sun. They didn't know where Mike was. On a national stage. Didn't know where he was. In the final game of the AFL's Coach. history. Coach pumped it in there, boys. Completely hey, out coaching Bobby. Bobby the Lombardi Bobby. disciple on the other side of the field. <laughs> and you could tell he was enjoying that. <laughs> I tell you that, maybe the chair. Yes, sir, boys. <laughs> Woo!